It's like you're literally eating your attic. Do you eat your attic? Nobody eats their attic. Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is Tuesday, and that means it is time for another Tuesday Toss Up! Blah, 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 blah. I didn't do anything as cool this time. Like normally I'm like, it's time for another Tuesday Toss Up! This time I was like, it's time for a Tuesday Toss Up! <laughs> Anyhow, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker. Let's do this thing, as always. Bill poured them, Bill labeled them. Now let's see which one I like better. That's the main point of this. To see which one I like better, it doesn't matter what it is. This is what the fun of blind tastings. It's so exciting. Okay, let's dive in. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> Cheers to you. Let's do this. Glass number one. It's a good color. I don't know what it's gonna smell like or taste like. I'm scared. I always get nervous that Bill's gonna give me something super bad and I'm like, oh, please God. Because I don't want to say anything bad. I want to be nice and respectful. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay, here we go. <sighs> okay. It's not bad on the nose. It's not bad, thank God. It's not grainy or grassy at all. It's In fact, it's kind of like a brown sugar bomb. A corny brown sugar bomb. Sweet. Kind of smells like a hint of fruit in there. It really smells like like caramelized sugar that you would like get on top of a creme brulee or something like that. That's what everybody likes to say, creme brulee, creme creme brulee, creme brulee, creme brulee up in here. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The nose is not bad though. It's like sweet with a hint of spice. Creme brulee, not super corny. Not super, super oaky or anything like that. So, and definitely does not burn the nose hairs. Now let's see what it tastes like. Whoa. Okay, that's good. I like it. Ooh, I like it, hallelujah. I like it. Ooh, I get nervous. That one tastes like it. Tastes finished. Tastes like a toasted finish or like a... Definitely, t to me, it tastes toasted. Uh, I could definitely be wrong. I get some char right up front. Mmm. Char. Marshmallows. A little bit of nut in there. Like a little bit of an almond in the mid palate. Oh, interesting. It's actually almost as if you made like, ooh, bready too. It's almost as if you made s'mores, and it does have a warmer proof, by the way. It definitely has a warmer proof. Like we're going 115, 120-ish, definitely. Oh, I like that. Oh, and it's oaky. This tastes like an like an oaky, double oaky, double oaked kind of thing. Not like, definitely not a wood for double oaked. It's way better than that. Way better. Hmm. The finish is fantastic. Flavor sits there. It's got some pepper, like black pepper on the black, ba black pepper on the black, black pepper on the back end. I was like black pepper on the black end. Back, black pepper on the back. End. <laughs> Words are hard. Oh, it's good. I really like it. It's a good amount of sweet, good amount of spice, good balance. Overall, it's very good. Definitely tastes like a toasted, double oaked, some kind of finished. If I'm wrong, judge me till I die, but this is good. All right, moving on to glass number two. Ah! Glass number two. Sharpie note. Like, super aged, no. Oh, shit. I get nervous because the very first note I got was like Sharpie, but then I was like, okay, gotta go back to that because it's like, yeah, it's definitely oaky, very oaky. Rich, vanillas, caramels, butterscotchies, 
it smells good. It was just like super oaky, like oak bed. Like you walked into an oak forest with oak bed and some freaking nuts of some sort. Nutty. Like, hello, nutty professor, but not like peanut butter nutty. Like, I'm talking like, uh, what are the pecans? That's what it is. Pecans. Candied pecans. Oaky. Sweet. Ugh, there's like some kind of plum in there. Even a fig. That's super interesting. That nose is really interesting. It's not bad in it, bad, like interesting in a bad way. It's, it's good. Now let's dive into the palette here. Huh. That is definitely a lower proof than the first one. Or maybe my palette's just screwing with me, but it's wild because what I smelled on it and what I tasted were like two different things. Let me take, take one more sip and then I'll tell you guys what I think. Very oaky. It has some age on it. Sweet. Very, very sweet on the, like the front of the palette, it's just like this rush of oak and s Oak and sweet. That's what I get. It's like you're literally eating your attic. Do you eat your attic? Nobody eats their attic. It's like you eat your attic and then you like, or like you're eating wood but not in a bad way. Like, I like it. I like, really like it, actually. You're eating your attic, but then you cover it in, like, marshmallows and then milk chocolate. Actually, no, like, semi-sweet chocolate. The, the, the finish is, like, super rich semi-sweet chocolate. Like, jet-puffed marshmallow cream. Oh. That's really, really good. Okay, now I gotta go back and forth. Holy moly. That was a wild ride, but, like, in a really positive way. That's... This one's gonna be hard because I found like a really nice richness and flavor that I like from both of these. Hmm. <laughs> Raspberry Pop-Tarts. Are they even a thing? Strawberry Pop-Tart, but overburned strawberry Pop-Tart. No, raspberry. It's oaky too. That's super oaky on the finish. Hmm. But they're like low proof. This is wild. These, at first I was thinking these were like 115, but I really think these are less than 110 now. Like. Shoot. All right. Yeah, they're different. I'm gonna go with two over one, simply because I like that richness in that cinnamon brown sugar coated oaky, marshmallowy, chocolatey thing that two has going on. One has like a fruit poof in the middle of it. Fruit poof. <laughs> a middle of it in the, on a finish too. But I like it. I like these both. No matter what these are, I like them both. But two is just, it stands out. It's very, it's good. They're both very good. They're both really enjoyable. I like them. I'll come back on my words here in a minute. At first I thought these were finished, but I think these are both actually just aged bourbons like good aged bourbons if i'm wrong judge me whatever do it okay <laughs> okay anyhow so i like two over one that's my final decision but i do enjoy both of these if you're going something for like sweeter fruitier go with one if you want oakier rich chocolatey vanilla pow deliciousness go with number two okay now let's figure out what these are here we go Class number one is Calumet 16, 106 proof. Okay, all right. I'm glad I went back on my proof. I said they were less than 110. Thank God. And I thank God I like it because I love Calumet 16. Now let's see what class number one, my gut is telling me before I look, before I look, my, my gut was telling me the entire time, based on the nose of glass number two, that it was rhetoric. Now, am I right? Let's see. Oh yeah! <laughs> it is rhetoric, and I was right. 
and it actually beat out Calumet 16. Oh my lord have mercy. <laughs> I did not think that would happen. I thought for sure. And like, okay. I said rhetoric 22. No, you didn't. You said rhetoric. Wow. Ah, holy moly. I mean, rhetoric 22. Rhetoric 22. I smelled that now right away. I was like, holy Sharpie. Like, okie, like, okie moly, holy. That is crazy. I love Calumet 16. I am mind blown right now because I literally like, on any given day, I could choose either one of these. But this time, I just, <laughs> I went with the Rhetoric 22. Oh my gosh. I'm at least glad. Like at first, I really thought that the Calumet 16 was like finished. Like first I was getting like all these, like I thought it was a toasted or a double oaked. It was just super aged and that's all. And I'm an idiot, but it doesn't matter because I love both of these. Thank God I said I loved both of them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Cause I really think that Calumet 16 could win whiskey of the year, but maybe Lucky 7 proprietor is better. It doesn't matter. That's a way 14 year proprietor, way higher proof. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, holy moly. that was a great blind. I am so excited right now. Okay, as always, if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. I'm still in love with both of them. If I can ever find a Rhetoric 22 again, oh, I will pick it up. I am obsessed with Rhetoric 22. I love it. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Now, have you tried it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. As always, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you. What a wild Tuesday toss up. Holy moly, Bill did a good job. These are like two of my favorite whiskeys. Now I get to drink them. So bye, I'm gonna go drink these. I hope you have a great day. See you later. I'm Dara, bye.